I scrambled your location. Zavala won't know you're breaking the quarantine on old Russia. Do me a solid and stick to the wall, okay? All hell's gonna break loose if the big guy finds out you're there. Meantime, I'll keep you covered. Welcome back, Guardians. The most requested lore question since the release of the exotic machine gun Thunderlord has been, why did Zavala quarantine the Cosmodrome? In the exotic quest for the Thunderlord, we revisit the Destiny 1 location to defeat a group of fallen responsible for Master Ive's death. And Amanda Holiday tells us that Zavala has quarantined the area. In today's lore episode, we are going to talk about Siva, the irradiated shank in the Cosmodrome, the impact of radiation on Guardians, and much more. As usual, the artwork at the beginning of this video was provided by Gamma Trap. All Patreon donations go towards paying Gamma Trap for his artwork. Link in the description with rewards, which includes digital versions of the art. A link to his socials will also be there as well. I don't take any of the Patreon donations, but if you'd like to support me, channel memberships are also available with their own rewards and perks. Press the join button or link in the description for iPhone users. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Let's start off with Siva because some people didn't notice the irradiated shank and probably the most common comment I saw was that the quarantine had something to do with SIVA. SIVA was introduced with the Rise of Iron DLC where a part of the Cosmodrome was transformed by SIVA into the Plague Lands. The Plague Lands were still connected to the Cosmodrome and you could still access the Rocket Yard of the Cosmodrome and aesthetically the Rocket Yard was less SIVA fied and just modified it to be covered in snow. As you went into the Plague Lands, you could see more SIVA structures. My point is, even though we don't see SIVA in the Cosmodrome during the Thunderlord quest, that doesn't mean SIVA isn't still in the Cosmodrome. And from a lore point of view, the Plague Lands should still exist to some extent. And if the rest of the map was open to you, you should be able to walk there and go into the Plague Lands. Technically, SIVA should still be around, unless Guardians completely destroy every particle of SIVA, as I do think that SIVA can replicate and replenish, considering it is a nanotechnology. For those who did not play Rise of Iron in Destiny 1, SIVA is a nanotechnology that can break down matter and make it into something else. It was developed during the Golden Age by the Clovis Bray Corporation as a colonial tool. It allowed them to build new cities on different planets. Ships from Earth didn't need to carry supplies, they just carried SIVA, and they could use SIVA to build anything they wanted. Have a listen to the Ghost Fragment Old Russia 4 Grimoire card. This is the AI of a ship speaking. It reads, Where once my cargo holds were full of tools and weapons and material, now they hold barely contained possibility. New worlds will be built from these tiny mites, weapons and cities and ships created by thought and science. SIVA also needs a directive, someone to program it and tell it what to do. This is told to us by Tara Khan in the SIVA Grimoire card. It reads, We must reopen all previous entries on SIVA. What we once believed to be a colonial tool of the war mines destroyed long ago appears to be active again. This time, there is no sign of any active Rasputin networks. My summation, SIVA is actually a nanotechnology capable of breaking down any existing matter very similar to Glimmer. Unfortunately, these SIVA mites reuse the energy and matter based on a set of programmable directives. SIVA does not cease until said directives are complete. Humans initially controlled SIVA, but the Warmind Rasputin also controlled SIVA for a portion of time. In fact, it was Rasputin who unleashed SIVA on the Iron Lords. The Iron Lords went to the SIVA replication chamber in Site 6, which was where SIVA was manufactured. The Iron Lords tried to destroy the chamber, but failed, leaving Saladin as his sole survivor. On a side note, Ephrodite had already left, and so wasn't killed. Ghost Fragment Rasputin 6 reads, 
Site 6 has been breached by unauthorized users with something energy. I'm evoking Palisade Imperative. Something life forms in restricted areas will be suppressed. Siva use authorized. Self destructs disengaged. Security codes reset. All defenses activated. Frames activated. Replicate, eliminate, immunize. In the Rise of Iron campaign, Guardians finish what the Iron Lords could not do and they blow up the Siva replication complex. And then they defeat Axis in the Wrath of the Machine raid in the Perfection Complex as the Fallen were trying to use Siva to enhance themselves. After Rise of Iron, the question has always been who is now in control of Siva and is Siva now sentient? Does Siva control itself without directives? The directive for Siva under Rasputin's control was replicate, eliminate, and immunize, and then changed to consume, enhance, and replicate when the Fallen were trying to use Siva, and then there was a very sneaky change in the directive when Age of Triumph was released just prior to Destiny 2. They released exotic versions of the Wrath of the Machine weapons, and the Siva directive changed again. Have a look at Chaos Dogma. The first Siva modified Chaos Dogma reads, Consume, enhance, replicate. Consume, enhance, replicate. Will drown your enemies. While the exotic version reads, Replicate, pain, consume, enemies, override, Sig Gunsmith. The fact that it says override and it's overriding the gunsmith has always made me wonder whether Siva is now trying to control itself. So in regards to Siva being in the Cosmodrome, I think there are two possibilities. The first is Rasputin has regained control over Siva. This would make sense considering the ending of the Warmind DLC with Rasputin claiming independence from the city and the Vanguard. In addition, it was Rasputin that sent Siva out into space. Have a listen to the Ghost Fragment Old Russia 4 Grimmel card, where Rasputin is referred to as the Tyrant. It reads, Where once my cargo holds were full of tools and weapons and material, now they hold barely contained possibility. New worlds will be built from these tiny mites. Weapons and cities and ships created by thought and science. I fear my will is not strong enough to shape these worlds. Only the tyrant can do that. But he will not be part of my journey. Even his reach has limits, and we will be 9 billion miles away. I whisper my concerns to the tyrant in tiny magnetic bursts. He does not listen. The tyrant says, take the Siva, and so I take the Siva. The tyrant says, go to the stars, and so I go to the stars. So there is a ship full of Siva out there, and I think it plausible that Rasputin has regained control over that ship. I also think it plausible that Rasputin has regained control over any Siva remaining in the Cosmodrome, and maybe this is why Siva has placed a quarantine on the Cosmodrome. Alternatively, maybe Siva is still remaining in the Cosmodrome and is now sentient or in control of itself, and this too is why there is a quarantine in the area. Now let's move on to the irradiated shank in the Cosmodrome mission. As far as I'm aware, this is the very first time we've seen a shank with this name, so it definitely could be a hint at a future storyline in Destiny, or they just wanted to include a reason for not returning to the Cosmodrome. Within the lore of Destiny, there is definitely radiation from nuclear events on Earth. The Thorium Hold Hood describes the Manhattan nuclear zone. The item reads, Manhattan Nuclear Zone. All MNZ requests must go through Warlock Mendawazi. And the boots read, Travel to MNZ. Vanguard does not authorize MNZ expeditions. See Warlock Mendawazi. Even though Manhattan is far from the Cosmodrome, these items still show that the Vanguard restrict access to nuclear zones. The exotic armor, Ursa Furiosa, also speaks about the impact of radiation on humans, those who are not guardians. Have a listen. It reads, She corralled the survivors into a cave that once upon a time wasn't a cave, but more of an industrial drainage system. It was foul here. The radiation was practically palpable, and the survivors, if they survived this day, would likely find their lives shortened by years, 
if not decades, thanks to the poisoned solace. Radiation from a nuclear event is definitely within the law of destiny, however it has not been associated with the Cosmodrome in the past. Radiation is also associated with a couple of other sources as it is mentioned in the Approaching Darkness in the Maracena lore book, and Ashamia often speaks about radiation from the Taken. Regardless to the source of the radiation, something irradiated the shank in the Cosmodrome, and so the question becomes, why do we care? Why would Zavala quarantine the area if there is radiation? As Guardians, will radiation even affect us? There is one lore entry that I could find that confirms that Guardians can be killed by radiation, however the ghost would have to allow you to die. The lore entry is called To Map the Unknown, and a Guardian is testing Thanatonautic techniques, which is essentially killing themselves and then having their ghost bring them back to life, in the hope that in death they will discover something or have a vision. Previous Thanatonauts have had visions of the Black Garden. This specific guardian experimented with all different ways of killing themselves, quick and slow. Have a listen. The sudden deaths, live fire, through every type of round and range imaginable. The gradual, asphyxiation from force, liquid, vacuum. The biological, superbugs, hazardous materials, radiation. So I would say if your ghost did not heal you, a guardian could die from radiation, but your ghost could still bring you back. However, I don't know if your ghost could permanently get rid of the radiation, and if it couldn't, it certainly would be annoying for your ghost, as I imagine your ghost would have to constantly heal you. The other reason why I imagine Zavala would not want guardians to visit areas of radiation is that a guardian may be okay, however humans will not be. I don't think we want radioactive guardians returning from nuclear zones. So there you have it. That's all I could find on SIVA, radiation, and Zavala's quarantine on the Cosmodrome. If you have any other thoughts, please leave it in the comments below. And if you can't think of a comment, but would like to support the channel, you can leave the word quarantine to represent the unknown threat within the Cosmodrome. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Mylan Games. Peace.